everybody my name is Wim Reaper and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 baby challenge so if you're new last episode we had our very first two teens move out Adelaide and Gerard they're living with their dad who is Vlad and now we have only five kids in the household which means it's time for Rita to go find herself another man and we've already started to talk to Akira I'm pretty sure yes and we already have a tiny bit of romance with him so I was thinking maybe we could invite him out to the gym or something that would be fun but Rita needs to sleep up a bit and the kids need to get their moods and their homework done and uh, then after that's done, yeah, we'll go out and we'll go to the gym with Akira, hopefully. Maybe not the gym, but we'll go out with Akira. And we are actually only 2,000 simoleons away from being able to move as well. So hopefully that'll just, the royalties will just come in. I'm not wanting to force Rita to write a whole lot this episode since I've been doing that a lot otherwise. Um, but if we start getting enough money then we can definitely move out probably in the next couple episodes i really um underestimated <laughs> how long it was going to take to get that money up but uh i don't think it's too we're too behind uh so i'm just trying to get all the kids and moods in check so I might fast forward a tiny bit because um, this isn't particularly <laughs> interesting, but uh, Rita, she's not doing too badly for energy. We don't want to go out too late. So let's go get her to eat some uh, leftovers, I guess. We could probably afford to do that. And then we'll get her to have some fun because I don't think she gets fun from going to the gym. Only active sims do, I'm pretty sure. Or you can buy a rewards trait too if you guys didn't know about that. I'm sure a lot of you did, but one of the store things is gym rat, which is 500. So we could do that potentially, but it basically makes it so your sims will have fun when they're exercising. Which is really useful if you want to have someone in the act or the active career, <laughs> the fitness career, or probably also the military career. I haven't actually played through the military career, so maybe I should do that one time. Maybe I'll do it in a playthrough. Okay, so Rhea wants to publish 10 books and write 5 excellent books. And she wants to get her writing up to level 10. So like I said, I'm not going to make her write this episode but we're actually pretty close to getting her skill to level 10 and that's a big deal actually because then we might uh write books that are worth a lot more money and also we can sell them to a magazine which gives us a lot more royalties that's a good improvement from just publishing or selling to the publisher okay so what can we get rita to do for fun I think we can kick Carlotta off the computer now and get her to do her homework and then maybe Rita can go on there and browse the web or something. Uh, let's see. Social networking. Oh, that's just all about fame. I thought maybe that would get up for fun, but no, let's just have her, uh, let's just have her browse. Okay, so Shaggy has finished his homework. He needs fun before he can continue. Oh, Rita got a quirk. <laughs> Refined palette. Well, that's going to be bad for us, but um, all right, <laughs> we'll deal with it. Okay, how's Cletus doing? Okay, you're getting food. Did you finish your homework? Okay, good boy. He needs to get a skill to level four. I don't know that these two are going to age up anytime soon, but Fred and Shaggy might actually age up tomorrow if we could get we need to get Shaggy's skill up actually Fred is like basically right ready to age up but uh, Shaggy needs to get a skill up so what skill is he closest with okay so Shoal so we could get him to talk to Cletus go talk to your brother and complain about your one parent not parents plural <laughs> I don't even know their other parents talk about school look at these two why would you stand like that? 
Cletus is just like, oh, you're making fun of mom. You're not allowed to do that. Talk about this. Oh, the ones with the speech bubble thing, I think, increase it faster. So talk about school does. Okay, so talk about school then. Oh, and he did it. Okay, so he'll probably age up tomorrow. So we might actually even be able to do that this episode. That's exciting. Okay, so Rita is needing a little bit more fun. Sorry for lagging suddenly. I don't know what happened there. This game is getting like a hundred baby challenge. It's hard on your CPU. Let me tell you about that. So if it starts lagging a lot in this series, I apologize. I can't afford a better computer. I can't afford a lot like that, but I will try my best to do anything I can to improve the frame rate. Um, okay. So she's helping with homework, but I think we should get her to cancel that because the kids are all quite, like they're doing quite well on their own. So I think we're going to invite out Akira now. Uh, ask on a date. Let's go with Akira. And I don't know why we have a romance bar with Vlad. Like we for sure cut off that whole thing, but okay. That might be a glitch. That might be something Rita did automatically, which I don't get. Did he just not answer or something? It's only 8 p.m. Let's just, hmm, travel with him? That might work. Travel with Akira. And I think that the next guy we're going to go for is Jeffrey Landgrab because... That would be fun, I think, to have a goth kids and land grab kids. I don't want to go to this gym. Let's go to one in Mulu, I think. Yeah, let's go to this one. So we just got here. Laura was sent to daycare, which is probably a good thing. And now we can have Akira all to ourselves. Let's talk about cooking. We got to raise up that friendship level. I don't think we have to so much with him. I think he's... uh. He's actually like a flirty sim or ram romantic, that's what it's called. Look at us cheering him up. Oh, poor Akira. <laughs> but um, I think he's a romantic sim, so it won't take as much to get him to like us, especially since we already have a romance bar and like we're not even that good of friends or anything. So let's do a little bit of a flirt. And, oops, do a little bit of a compliment appearance, perhaps? I don't want to confess attraction, let's just compliment his appearance. Okay, he's taking it quite well, but he's jealous, so hopefully he won't find out about Vlad. <laughs> oh, did he not like it? Why didn't... It seems like he didn't like it, but he's not dissing us or anything? Okay, I wanted, part of the reason I wanted to go to the gym was so that Rita could go on the treadmill or something because she has, here, work out together, yeah, because she's had a lot of kids and she's going to have more and she needs to get her fitness up. She's very happy, which is really nice. I guess he's going to be talking to us or he's just going <laughs> to do push-ups on the ground. We could discuss interests with him maybe. I don't know if we can do this at the same time. Oh, we can. Okay, talk about art. Um, and do an inside joke. Just get that friendship up so he won't um, reject us. Because it seemed like he did reject us for a second there. Seems like our romance bar didn't go up very much either. We can flirt with him. And we can give parenting tips. Yeah, we know how to parent. We actually are at level 9, although... <laughs> We're probably like one of the worst moms ever, so I don't get it, but uh, oh well, I'll take it, you know. Uh, maybe we should confess attraction while we're running on the treadmill. Let's see how he takes it. <laughs> oh, he liked it, I think. Yeah, okay, so now let's get off the treadmill and do a first kiss, because we don't, we don't need to really really worry about like slimming down just gotta get her moving once in a while you know that's healthy 
Marcus, get out of the frame. Yeah, there we go. That's what we all were waiting for. Okay, actually, no, it wasn't, though. We're gonna go try for a baby if there's anywhere to do that. I guess we're gonna have to flirt a little bit more. It would be so awkward just to, like, have your first kiss in the gym with, like, everyone watching. <laughs> I don't think I would be too into that myself, but, you know, uh, these two... They're probably a little bit more experienced, so they don't necessarily care. Who knows? We don't want to take him back to the house because we don't want to have vampire kids again. Uh, our house has a lot trait that will make almost all of our kids vampires. It doesn't seem like there is, like, beds or anything here, though. So we are going to have to travel again, and we got to do it fast before... Um, she passes out and we also want to get home at a decent time. So let's travel with our group And let's go somewhere that does have beds. Hopefully his house or something like that So we came back to Akira's place actually and we're gonna have to hurry and see if this works uh, Let's just try for a baby right off the bat See if he responds well to this because we want Rita to not pass out Hopefully their beds are comfortable enough. This is quite a nice apartment actually. Like it's not super duper nice, but um, it's definitely a lot nicer than where we're living. It's decorated and all. So it seems like maybe Akira has the double bed and then the two girls have these beds. I don't know because I know there are three people in this household, but only two are here. I'm pretty sure there's another girl, but I might be wrong. And we are trying for a baby. Yes, girl. Trying for a baby off of home lot. That is like a lot of Sims goals for some reason. It's like they all want to try for a baby off their home lot. Or at least in The Sims 3, they'd get like a really good mood lit if they did that. Look at this room though. I actually really like this. I mean, I just like totally like got off track there, but um, we will get her to take a pregnancy test when she is done, and then if she is pregnant, we can just get out of here. She'll probably only have one kid though, which is unfortunate because um, I don't think this lot has like the fertile trait or whatever it's called, um, the ley line. That's what it is because. It doesn't make sense and we don't actually have like the fertile trait for Rita because I'm just kind of relying on moving into the new house for this um why did her hygiene go all the way down that's so weird okay so we are pregnant so we're just gonna I guess we'll tell him and break it off and then we'll leave because <laughs> we don't want any like attachments left after this is done so we're gonna act to be friends and is he an elder oh he's an adult i was like wait a minute because it seemed like his hair was a little bit gray where is he going don't run away from us we need to ask to just be friends maybe we should just go home i think that his bed is crap anyway so we're not gonna get any better sleep so we're asked to just be friends and we'll go home and then I think we'll go until tomorrow after school. I'm probably going to fast forward during the day, to be honest, just because there is nothing except for us working on Laura's skills. I don't think that um, you guys really care. So I'm just going to skip like way ahead to when all the kids come home, if that's all right with you guys. I will include something if something like big happens, so don't worry. So see you in a second. Okay, so actually a lot of exciting stuff has just happened. Uh, Laura has reached level 3 in all her skills, so it means she can uh, age up with her brothers today. Also, we got a lot of money in royalties, and now we can afford the house. So that means that three kids will probably be aging up today, and that... Um, we can move out. So I think that I will maybe save um, 
aging up the kids for um a, or not aging up the kids i mean leave moving out for the next episode at the very beginning that way we can spend a little more time showing you the house rather than having to cut it short but i will age up all the kids this episode i'm pretty sure we already have the cake i'm gonna just take it out to make sure that it's still 100 percent intact it is so we can use the cake again but rita's just making some food so that uh the kids can eat when they get home and she started writing another book so we're right on track for where we want to be and yeah basically nothing is gonna happen until the kids get home so yeah i'll keep fast forwarding for you guys past all that stuff i just wanted to give a little update about what's gonna happen real soon so you'll see okay the kids just got home so we're gonna pull the cake out of the fridge and then we're gonna put some candles on it. I think we'll just get one of the kids to do that. They're gonna make sure it's in the center of the counter, although it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, there are already candles on it. I think, I can't tell what the center of the counter is. We'll just see if that works. But um, we're gonna wake up Frida. I think Gerard is supposed to be coming over. He asked if he could, but I don't think he ever actually showed up. But Fred and Jaggy and Laura can all age up. And I think we're gonna start with Probably Fred because these two have been in the family for a while like it took them a long time to age up So since Fred is the oldest out of all of them We're gonna get him to age up first and he's gonna make a wish. He's been a really good kid so he really really does deserve this and I think it's about time He aged into a teen. So let's see Happy birthday! Okay, great. Now we got to randomize a trait and we have to see what his aspiration will be. So let's randomize a trait. Oh, he's gonna be a goofball. Okay, so that's fun. Okay, now I need to randomize. So I think it's 12 of these. So, uh, sorry. Okay, generate six. So that is food. Okay, now we just need it out of two. Maybe I should get dice for this. It might be faster. Okay, two. So he wants to be a master mixologist. Okay, that's a fun one. And he has this real uh, fun swooped hair. I actually kind of like that. I never use that hair. I forget about it all the time. But he's very handsome. He's very tense as well. We should get him to have some fun. Oh yeah, and I also forgot that they're vampires. <laughs> because they don't look at all like vampires, unlike uh, Gerard and... Um, <laughs> Gerard and Adelaide. But yeah, okay, so now your brother can come along and also... Maybe, I think he's more logical. He's gonna blow at the candles. He's too good for all that witch stuff, maybe. Even though he's only like, what, like... I don't know, 12. Okay, so I generated Shaggy's aspiration. He is going to have number nine. So that is location. So now, is he wanting to solve the Strangerville mystery or is he wanting to live in the city? Okay, he wants to live in the city. And then his new trait is lazy. <laughs> He's a lazy glutton who wants to live in the city. Now. That's actually quite a lot like Shaggy from this show, which is kind of what I uh, named him after. And I'm just going to pause and put candles so that people don't steal this before Carlotta can age up. I really like his hair as well. Like, it doesn't go with the hair he had as a kid, but I think it's cool. So I'm really happy with these how these two age up. They look a lot different than I would have expected when they're older, but we're going to get Rita to also... Actually, she's kind of... um in a horrible mood so we'll get shaggy to help um laura blow up the candles not blow up blow out okay i'm excited to see what laura looks like laura is the daughter of travis scott so here she is coming out of bed and then she'll be a child and we won't have any toddlers until rita gives birth again and then we'll have probably one but okay here we go 
How exciting! <laughs> oh, and Rita's even singing! How nice. Okay, we're not gonna be able to see her. But, okay. So, she was fussy. Now she's a dog lover! What? Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so cute. Okay. And she has number three. So she wants the motor skill. So she's a bit more of a tomboy than I would have expected. Not that liking athletics is that tomboyish, I guess, but I don't know. I just feel like she's a tomboy. Look at her hair. She even cut it short. Well, I don't know. I guess her mom probably decided on that one, but yeah. And I guess I'll just let the kids eat the cake. Like, usually I like save it. Or are they even hungry? Yeah, like no one's hungry anyway, so I guess we'll save it. Let's, um, actually, let's just get Shaggy to do it. He's standing right there. Let's add birthday candles and put it away. And that's where I'm going to end the episode. So I really hope you enjoyed. This was a really fun one for me. Rita's pregnant again. All the, like, three kids aged up. And we have enough money to move next episode. So this episode was a big win. And I hope you stick around. If you like this episode or if you like this series, please give a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next part. Goodbye!